so we we were talking about how this kicked off about the camogie 60 years ago and uh, i got a phone call to say that there was a gathering coming up and would i be interested in going would i be what and i just thought sure half the people that are on half the girls that were on the team are gone and so they are but i i was delighted to be asked and i was looking forward to meeting all the girls, you know, the way it is, girls, they're not girls now, they're women, but I was looking forward to meeting them. Uh, from This was from the, the um, GPA sent the invitation. So uh, I booked a hotel in Dublin. My daughter decided she'd come over from the UK to join me, which was great. And uh, although my husband is here, but it was a lot of women, if you know what I mean. Well, there was men there too, but it was a women's gathering. Yeah. So anyway, we went up. I went up to Dublin, met up with her, and we went over to Croke Park, which was just literally across the road. And then we went in, and there was a kind of a reception area for meeting up. And we were kind of going around saying, "Who's here? Who's that? Is she here? Is she here?" <laughs> so we got tables in for sitting inside, and we could kind of find where everyone was. So that was kind of where we went kind of reminiscing about uh, uh, old times, you know, kind of. And it was sad in a way that it kind of said, oh, Connie's gone, Bridgie's gone, Jerry is gone, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then there was some of the, there was uh, different families there belonged to some of them and they were talking about them and asking. And I was talking to one of them and I said, Connie was the goalkeeper that year. And I said, she, she was very fond of broken biscuits. She worked in Jacobs. <laughs> So he used to bring broken biscuits. She was very popular with the broken biscuits. You know that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, someone was asking me, well, how did you feel, you know, your first All-Ireland? Well, Crow Park was a lot different then, you see. And how old were you? I was just over 20. When you played the all Oh, Ireland. yes. The, wow. the first one. Okay. Yes, was just over 20. Well, you see, I was at school here. I was in Ballastadere, yeah. Sherlock is the, the uh, my maiden name and somebody said well you know all the boys played football mm-hmm. my brother john he was in fact he was in the council he was a councillor he was i think he was the chair of the council i should yeah. know more but yeah. he played for palace today they had a football team so there was no you didn't um girls didn't play sport there was no sports for girls really okay and uh i know when uh, we lived in Ballastadere, as I say, and when we were at school at the time, and when we were asked, would we join the team? There was one of the girls that she lived near us. So I was at it. I loved, you know, the way you just yeah. take to something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I really loved it. And then um, uh, we were. I was playing with them. We were still at school, and sure, you used to get into trouble at school. The nuns would be given out. You didn't do this, and you didn't know your Latin, and you haven't your Shakespeare done. And sometimes you'd know it, but you'd be so nervous. Yeah. You'd stand up and you'd say, oh God, I've got a blank, you blank now. And yeah. say, yeah, you were away yesterday playing. You should have been doing your homework. <laughs> Do you know that kind of thing? Yeah, so how old were you when you started playing? Come I, was, I was 12 when, or 13, around that age, when I actually started playing. Okay. But you know, we, I was saying that to somebody. We were sort of at home. There was an old cobble road outside and... We used to all the children would get together and we'd have butts of sticks mm-hmm. and we used to play rounders yeah. and we, God help us we used to play cricket I don't know where we got that from yeah. but we used to play so we were batting the ball and we were doing that kind of we were preparing first so I was yes and uh, there was women I said they were very old they were in their twenties oh there, there was women on the team but they were very old. <laughs> You know, because yeah. we were only so young, so they, yeah. they were ancient. But uh, yeah, that that's how it started. So I was playing, uh, playing for the local St. Attractus, it was called. So I played on the team and uh, Martha McCann used to play as well. She was pretty good too. And then there was other ones on it, uh, the Fallons and from Colony and the Leightons, all those, they all played on it. Yeah. But they... You know, the the kind of, there was a game. I remember one, one day we were up on the bog saving the turf. And my father said, like, you're not going home. We're not leaving till it's finished. We were up on Cabra. Yeah, yeah. And we went to Mass above in Clunamahan at six o'clock in the morning. It was a holy day. 
so there was no work, you see, so you went to the bog. And it was a roasting hot day, one of them lovely days. But sure, I was all burnt with the So I came home and I had to go out then and play in Quigley's field. I had to play a match. Gosh. <laughs> but she didn't take any notice. No. No, she just, you know, kind of, it's just one of those things. But um, there was a couple of teams around. There was one in Drumcliff. Uh, there was one here in Dorley Park. The Hamels were involved with it. Uh, Pauline was the hairdresser, I think, at the finish. Mm -hmm. um, there was the Murphys were in it, and uh, Deirdre Carroll and all those. There were a lot of them. The lot of them played for the Earth Line. There was the mm -hmm. Camogie down in the Earth Line at that time. Mm -hmm. So naturally enough, and they played for Crave Road. They had a they had a pitch on the circular road there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. long gone, but mm -hmm. the houses there now. But uh, they played for. So there was a hotbed of camogie mm -hmm. in town. And I think, oh yeah, mm -hmm. the, the Calaris, the, the, over in Calaris, the Devanis and all mm -hmm. those, mm -hmm. they were very strong into it. Mm -hmm. um, Eileen and them, you know, so there was a lot of ch girls around uh, and it was great rivalry. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you played a few matches, you know, the yeah. way it is. It was great rivalry all together. Cycled on your bike to go to a match. Oh, <laughs> and how many All Islands did you play? I played in, well, I played in the, f the, f the five that I won, and then I played in the other one, the sixth, because we didn't get to the I All Ireland after that. We got to the Leinsters and we won it, but we didn't get to the All Ireland. Mm. But uh, so we were kind of, that was a, f the Dublin, Dublin was very strong that time yeah, yeah. in Camogie. Yeah. And uh, as I was saying to somebody else, like, you just wouldn't get on with a Dublin team. Like when I went to Dublin, yeah. I looked for Camogie because it was an opening to get involved yeah. and to get to know people. Okay, and you were know? you living in Dublin? At I was living time? in Dublin at that okay. time, yeah. And you know, to get to know people, yeah. uh, sort of, and it was very easy. It's like joining any organisation, yeah, you get yeah. to know people quickly. Yeah. And I did, I uh, joined Austin Stacks and started playing and uh, I know the first, I had to go into trials to see how good I was. Mm -hmm. That was scary. That was scary, Mary, yeah. not at all. <laughs> yeah, no, you weren't bothered, you weren't fine. No, and the, the woman that was in charge of the team, Molly, Molly, Molly Fitz, a uh, lovely woman, uh, Molly, uh, said to me at one stage, Mary, she said, will you stop hitting the ball so hard? It's going out over the other end, you <laughs> see. They were watching what was going on. So I was put up on to the next level, you know, that right. was fine. Uh, so it found it dif difficult initially in Dublin because we were used to playing here on the, there weren't pitches, there were, the boys played football. Yeah. And so there'd be long grass. Okay. Or there might be no grass, it yeah. all depended. So you yeah. could, you know, you find it very hard, sort of, you had to keep lifting the ball and yeah, so yeah. you got into that habit. Yeah. And of course up there, it was completely different. Yeah. You had to keep it on the ground or whatever. So I had to kind of adjust the situation. Yeah. But uh, started playing, yeah, was was chosen to play in the trials, we used to have trials, you see, mm -hmm. and I was chosen to play in the trials and uh, was picked on the team. Mm -hmm. So once I was started on the team, you were, well, if you were good enough, you were, you were kept, you, you know, they didn't sort of turn around and drop you the next year or whatever. Yeah. So I started playing then. I was, played in 62 was the first year. Wow. Yes. Okay. And I, we won the All-Ireland that year. Uh, that's probably, you know, people say, did you cherish the first one? You probably enjoyed the first one to a degree. Yes. And I know when, when we were coming out from the old Cusick, uh, we had to come out there onto the pitch. And I know Jerry Hughes was the captain. And she, as we came out, she looked at me and she said, Sherlock, she said, your face is the same colour as that grass, she said. <laughs> because you were kind of petrified, yeah. you were nervous yeah. and you yeah. were kind of, wanting to do well, you know, that yeah, kind yeah, of way, and yeah. settle in, yeah, yeah. so we, 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 we won that one, and then after that, then, you know, kind of, it continued on, but, uh, most enjoyable, 